Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to see how we can change the SharePoint's existing folder's color with the use of REST API and Power Automate. In my previous video, I have shown you how we can change the color of any of the SharePoint's document library colors, but there is a catch. You cannot change a color of Microsoft Teams folders, for example, general folder. Uh, employee details document library in that with one folder my data in it with this particular color. The thing which we want to do is we want to change the color of this document from this to another and to do that I'm going to create one new power automate flow. So let me just go and click on this create button. I can create automate cloud flow instant cloud flow or a scheduled cloud flow in this case for now let me just go and create an instant cloud flow it is a manually triggered flow so let me select and click create okay now the next step is i want to add an action send an http trigger request to separate so let me search send http request send an http request to sharepoint select it the thing which we want to pass in here is the site address so that is the address of my existing control source site so i can just go and select it from this drop down so it is called as the village so the first one the control source of the village and select it and the next thing what we want to do is we need to select and uh, this is my site address so the next thing what we want to do is we want to select the request type is method type as post the next thing what we want to do is we need to pass the uri in this particular case so the uri to uh, change the color of an existing folder is is being displayed something like this like stamp color and uh, what we can do in that particular case so that is what we can achieve in here. So the next thing what we want to do is we want to go and copy this URL, which is a stamped color as you can see, and paste it inside this URI section. The next thing what we want to do in this particular case is we want to have this body added inside our body section. One thing you noticed is there is something called as color X okay so what is color hex so there are right now there are number of colors available which we can use for changing the color of the folder these are the number of colors and let's say i want to use this dark green color to change my my data folder dark blue to this color so what i can do is i can add that color hex number three in here copy this and then paste it inside this body section of our http request trigger for set yeah, that's it. So let me save this. Before saving, let me just go and uh, give a name to my uh, Power Automate flow. Let me give it a name, something like custom folder color. Okay. Now let me just go and hit save. So my flow is saved. It is being saving. So yeah, now it's saved. And the next thing we want to do is go and click on taste. And now I'm going to click on manually tasting because I don't have any automatic flavor right now. Let me just go and click on taste. What it will go, it will go and ask me for this app point omission, which I have already provided. So the next thing I need to do is click on this run flow button. So my flow is being running. And as you can see, your flow ran successfully. So the next thing what we want to check my flow ran successfully and now we want to check what happened. So my color hex I have provided is three. There are no any errors in this particular action. So if I go in my site, the color what we want is dark green that is three. So if I go in my site and uh, try to refresh this page the old color is like this see 
it has this dark green color so this is how we can change the color of an existing folder inside the SharePoint document library let's say I want to create instead of just uh, changing the color of an existing folder I want to create a new folder with some selected color okay so to do that there is also an api endpoint available for this particular case and that is something which as you can see on my screen uh, that is we can use to create a new folder with selected color so it has an endpoint called with create folder we need to pass the uri the library name and folder name and all that stuff and if you want to overwrite that or not if the folder is already existing inside the document library so let me do that let me copy this particular example api endpoint and uh, edit the flow and paste it inside that api endpoint text box okay so this is my uri for the new creating creating a new folder if it is already there in case that happens right so that can be overwritten and i want that to be having a different color than this that one so let's say i want to have it as dark blue so i'm going to add the color hex as the dark blue 5 okay so i'm going to replace the color hex with 5 and i'm going to save my flow before that let me just check this is the folder name i'm going to create my employees data let me save the flow save and test manually right so my flow is being saved and now what i can do is i can click on run flow to run my flow okay so as you can see your flow ran successfully if i check this particular api endpoint for create folder has been called there are no any errors and the output is there so if i go and check my employee details library one more time let me refresh i should see a new folder yeah it is there my employees data with the dark blue color which we selected as a color hex great let's say i want to do one more thing i want to rename my folder as well as i want to change the color of my folder at the same time so there is an endpoint for that which is called as rename folder and this is an example api endpoint i have created for that so as you can see i have a typo in my folder name that is my employees data which is wrong right and i want to change it from my employees data to my employee data so what I can do is I can just put in my API URI in there where this is my existing name which is wrong and this is my new name for that particular folder and in the color hex I can change any of the color from this 15 by default is 0 so let's say instead of dark blue I want it to have as dark red which is number 1 and so now you know what we want to do we need to just go and change the value from color hex from 5 to 1 save it the flow is being saved now flow is saved let me just go and click on taste manually click on taste button and now my flow should run great it ran successfully go and refresh this page the name should be changed and color should be one so let me just go and refresh the page so the folder name changed from my employees data and color from dark blue to dark red okay okay i hope you like the video if you like the video then subscribe my channel and provide your valuable comments in the comment section thank you so much see you in the next video Bye bye